Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to add a contact form using Ninja Forms. Now, I was searching for a new contact form because I've been using Contact Form 7 for many years and they, in their most recent update, they required that you use Google's reCAPTCHA version 3. And the version 3 I've found just does not block spam the way version 2 used to. And it also requires that you add this box. Well, well it automatically adds this box to the bottom right hand uh, corner of your website. And it adds it to every single page on your website. Now that's just annoying and bad user experience or UI particularly if you're going to add like some type of uh, chat agent because normally you would put it in the same spot and now you'll have two so yeah that that just uh, made me look for a new contact form and I found ninja forms which is seems really good it seems like a much better editor much easier to use front-end visual editor it's very uh, smooth so I'm going to show you how to do it let's get down to it so I've logged into my website my testing website and I go to plugins add new and I happen to know the name so I just type ninja forms and I'm going to install it okay uh, I I have uh, what's called multi-site installation so it says network activate but yours would just say activate so you you would just click on activate I've got to do it slightly differently and do it over here so now ninja forms is activated and you can see it's it's added a menu item right here I'm gonna go to it and it already has a, a contact me form it's already automatically created one for you so I'm just gonna check it out and as you can see uh, it's so I, I checked it out earlier it wouldn't actually have this phone field in there so I, I'm just going to delete it right now and I'll show you how to add it so right now you can ask for a name email message and submit uh, if you want to add a phone you just click on the plus sign look for the phone there it is and just you can just drag and drop it it's so easy you want to change the order just go like that so much easier than uh, contact form 7 much nicer interface too and I won't get into the settings um, well actually we need to get into the email notification settings so you can put in your email here now you, you don't have to change it. Uh, it it will grab the email that's used in your WordPress installation but if you don't want that if you want uh, something slightly different uh, you can just type it in here like I did just now alright you can click on done uh, let's check the uh, confirmations here alright okay click on done publish and now you just gotta get the embed code 
It's right here. And you want to create a new page. You know, probably call it contact. Let's add new. Contact. And then you want to add a short code. So you can't just type it in here. You have to add a short code block. So you just type uh, short code and paste your short code, publish, view page, and there you go. You've got a contact form. And it already has built in spam protection. So you don't have to add reCAPTCHA like you do with Contact Form 7. So it's built in. It uses something called Honeypot. So that's it. Uh, you've got a Contact Form using Ninja Forms. And it's very easy to use. You can add many other fields to it. Uh, I'll refresh this I'll show you here see that you can add all these extra fields to it and you know you don't need to get a premium version it's all part of the free version so that's how you add the form to to your WordPress site. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Have a great day.